In this video, we're going to do the CUDA Software Infinite Algebra 1 One Step Inequalities Worksheet. We're going to do the front side of this worksheet, or the first page of this worksheet, in this video, and then we'll do the second page, or back side, in the next video. So it says to solve each inequality and graph its solution. In number 1, we have negative 12 is greater than x minus 7. We're going to treat this like an equation, and when we solve, whatever we do to the left, we do to the right, and vice versa. Whatever we do to the right, we do to the left. So we want to isolate this variable x. We'll have negative 12 is greater than x minus 7. To isolate the x, we're going to add a 7 to both sides. And that first line, I just rewrote the equation so I can show all my work underneath. Negative 12 plus 7 is going to be negative 5, and that is greater than x. So in order to graph the inequality, we're going to find negative 5 on the number line, which will be between negative 4 and negative 6. Here is negative 5. We're going to circle it, and we're not going to fill it in because we have that negative 5 is greater than x. So x cannot be equal to negative 5, but x is everything that's less than that negative 5. So x is everything to the left of negative 5. So go ahead and shade in everything to the left. Let's go on to number 2. We have negative 1 plus r is greater than or equal to 4. Solving the inequality, we're going to add 1 to both sides, and we'll have r is greater than or equal to 5. So that's our new inequality once that inequality is solved. And let's go ahead and graph that. First, we're going to locate 5, go ahead and circle it, and we're also going to fill it in because r can be equal to 5. And r is greater than or equal to 5, so it's going to be shading in everything to the right. On to number 3 n minus 6 is less than or equal to negative 14. We're going to add 6 to both sides of the inequality to get n by itself, so we isolated that n. So now that our variable is isolated, that n is less than or equal to negative 14 plus 6 is a negative 8. Now that we've solved the inequality, let's go ahead and graph it. Locate the negative 8, circle it, and we're going to fill it in as well, since n can be equal to that negative 8. n is less than or equal to that negative 8, so we're shading in everything to the left. Number 4, b minus 7 is less than negative 12. I'll go ahead and rewrite that, and then we're going to start by adding 7 to both sides. When we add 7 to both sides, we're left with b is less than negative 12 plus 7 is going to be a negative 5. Now that we've solved that inequality, let's go ahead and graph. Circle the negative 5 and we're going to leave it open. So leave an open circle, meaning don't shade it in because b cannot be equal to negative 5. And it says that b is less than negative 5, so that's going to be everything to the left. Number 5, a minus 17 is greater than negative 16. Add 17 to both sides to isolate the a, so we're left with a is greater than a positive 1. a is greater than positive 1 is a solution to our inequality, so we're going to go ahead and circle 1, leave it open, so don't fill it in, since a cannot be equal to 1, and a is greater than that 1, so it's everything to the right. Number 6, 15 plus x is less than or equal to 0. All we have to do for this one is subtract the 15 from both sides. When we subtract the 15 from both sides, we'll get that x is less than or equal to negative 15. We're going to locate negative 15, circle it, and we're going to shade it in since x can be equal to negative 15, and we're going to shade in everything to the left since x is less than or equal to that negative 15. Number 7, 3 plus v is less than or equal to negative 9. Start by subtracting 3 from both sides. 
you'll be left with 0 plus v, which is v, less than or equal to negative 9 minus 3 is a negative 12. So v is less than or equal to negative 12. Graphing that, we're going to circle and shade in the negative 12, and v is less than or equal to that negative 12, so we're shading in everything to the left. For number 8, we have 8 is greater than or equal to n minus 6. Adding a 6 to both sides to get that n by itself will leave us with 14 is greater than or equal to n. Now, we'll just have to graph that inequality. Locate the 14 on the number line, circle it, and shade it in, since n can be equal to 14. And since 14 is greater than or equal to n, 14 is the maximum value of n. So we're going to shade in everything to the left of 14, since 14 is the maximum value. Number 9, negative 3x is greater than 3. This is slightly different because now we have our variable with a coefficient, so it's being multiplied to a number. In this case, that number is the negative 3. So we're going to divide both sides by a negative 3. But note that whenever you multiply or divide by any negative number, you're going to have to switch the sign. And what I mean by switching the sign is I mean that that greater than sign will become a less than sign. So negative 3x divided by negative 3 is a positive x, and a 3 divided by negative 3 is a negative 1. So as opposed to having negative 3x greater than 3, that inequality is equivalent to x is less than negative 1. Let's go ahead and graph x is less than negative 1. Locate the negative 1. Do not shade it in, since x cannot be equal to negative 1, but it's less than negative 1, so we're shading everything to the left. For number 10, n divided by 3 is greater than 3. We're going to solve this by multiplying by 3 over 1, or simply a 3 to isolate that n. That will leave us with n greater than 9 as our inequality. When we graph that, we will circle the 9 and not shade it in, and n is greater than that 9, so it's going to be everything to the right. Number 11, k divided by 4 is less than negative 4. We're going to multiply by 4 over 1 in order to get k divided by 1, which is k, and that's going to be less than since we're not multiplying by a negative number, we keep the inequality oriented the same way. And whatever we do to the left, we have to do to the right. So multiply by 4 over 1, or positive 4 on the right, to get negative 16. k is less than negative 16 is our inequality. So we're going to find the negative 16. Circle it, but don't shade it in. Since k is not less than or equal to it, it's just less than negative 16. So let's go ahead and shade to the left. And let's go into number 12, which will be the last problem in this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and finish out this worksheet by doing the second page. But for now, before we move on any further, please go ahead and like my video. And while you're at it, click that subscribe button as well. That way you'll be updated when I come out with new videos. Negative 9x is greater than or equal to negative 90. We're going to start by dividing by a negative 9. And since we're dividing by a negative number, remember, we're going to have to switch that inequality sign. So we're going to have a positive x is less than or equal to, since the original was greater than or equal to, negative 90 divided by negative 9 is a positive 10. So x is less than or equal to 10 is the solution for our inequality. Now we're going to graph it. x is less than or equal to 10, so find the 10, shade it in, and then shade in everything to the left. And that finishes up this video. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions.